Welcome, my name is Haley. I'm going to be leading you through a 30-minute yoga class today, 30-minute stretch. So all you're going to need today is a mat and a block if you so choose. And we're going to start in a nice, comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. It's your option here to start softening the gaze or close the eyes. And we want to start deepening the breath. So we focus on lengthening the inhale, filling the belly, and then the chest. And lengthening the exhale, releasing everything. And as we're here, we begin to let our mind focus just on the present moment. Focus on the sensation of the body. Maybe there are some places we're a little tired, a little sore that we want to take care of during this practice today. Take the time to acknowledge that. Maybe there's emotional or mental problems that we're dealing with or stresses or tensions. Take this time to really let that go Again, focusing just on this present moment, focusing on what we can do to make ourselves feel good, to get a really great workout, a really great stretch, whatever we're looking for in this practice today. So again, maybe with the eyes closed, sending that energy there on a deep inhale. And maybe releasing any barriers with an exhale, releasing those worries, those stresses. And take a couple deep breaths here in stillness, focusing on whatever brought you onto the mat today. Exhale slowly, car aligned with the nose, chin to chest. Finding this big stretch through the back of the neck. Again, making sure we pay attention to all parts of the body, so feeling heavy through the legs, letting the hands relax however is comfortable. Bring the shoulders away from the ears. A couple deep breaths here. And sealing in that intention. Awesome. Next inhale, carve a line with the nose looking up. This time drawing soft circles. So next exhale, sending the nose past the right shoulder. Big stretch through the left side of the neck. Chin to chest. Inhale, finishing that circle going over the left shoulder. Excellent. One more. So exhale, brings us around and down. Inhale to open up. So reverse that circle. So at next exhale, send us down past the left shoulder. Chin to chest. Inhale, wraps us around past the right shoulder. So a couple deep breaths here. Finding that slow rhythm. If there's any points that feel tense, maybe we just hang out in that spot. Embrace that stretch or keep going with that circle. Awesome work. Next inhale is gonna bring us back to center. So head aligned over spine, spine over pelvis. Next exhale, send the fingertips forward, moving onto all fours. 
So we really want to focus on setting up for success here. So put those wrists right underneath the shoulders. Put the hips right underneath, right above the ankles, the knees. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the head and tailbone. Cow pose. Exhale, claw through the fingertips, round through the spine. Cat pose. So again, we find this just with the rhythm of our breath, trying to make it a nice, long journey. We focus on squeezing the belly button into the spine, starting all of our movement right from the center as we just kind of warm up the abdomen, warm up the vertebrae. And at any point, we can get off the beaten track a little bit, maybe rocking the hips side to side, maybe sending the hips back to child's pose, whatever feels good, whatever your body is asking for today. Just use your breath to guide you. Awesome work, a couple more breaths here. Inhale, we find a nice neutral spine. We focus on a little bit of twist here, so we really want to plant the left fingertips into the mat. Big inhale, opening up through the right side, reaching as high as we can. Don't worry if it's not all the way up to the ceiling. One more big inhale. Exhaling, we're going to thread the needle, so bringing it around under that armpit, letting the shoulder lay on the earth. Right ear comes to the earth. Big stretch, big twist through that upper back. So option here is start walking the left fingertips out to stretch through that left armpit. Really deep in the breath here. Hips reaching high. Inhale, if those left fingertips are extended, we're going to draw them right back underneath the shoulder. Big exhale, press through the palm, unraveling. So taking it to the other side, making sure we reset that foundation, getting those wrists right underneath the shoulders. Really anchor those right fingertips into the mat. Big inhale, opening towards the left. Again, reaching as high as we can, wherever our flexibility is at today. One more big inhale. Exhale, sweeping through, thread the needle, bring that left shoulder to the earth, left ear to the earth. Again, option to keep that right palm where it is or start walking the fingertips out. Big reach, big stretch through that right armpit. Breathe deep. Making sure we focus on all parts of the body, focusing on the fingers, focusing where we feel the stretch, pressing the tops of the feet into the earth. Next inhale again, bringing those fingertips back underneath the shoulder. If we move them, exhale, pressing through once more, coming back into that all fours. This time we're going to curl the toes under, really press the fingertips into the earth, heading to down dog, big exhale, sends the hips up and back. Maybe adjusting those fingertips, we're going to pedal out our down dog. We really want to think here about reaching the heels towards the earth. Planting the fingertips, gaze should be right between the toes or right between the knees. And again, walking out those legs to open up those hamstrings and activate the legs. Awesome work. Send the gaze right in between the fingertips. Now we are going to step or hop forward towards the front of our mat. So one foot, two foot meeting in a forward fold. Let's start with a big, generous bend of those knees to support the belly. Reaching fingertips towards the earth. Again, maybe pedaling out the legs if our hamstrings are a little bit tight. Deep breaths here again, really awakening those legs, awakening the low back. 
Big shaking the head, no, nodding yes. And we find a little stillness, seeing if you can sink a little bit deeper into that hold again. Feel free to bend the legs if the hamstrings are really tight. A couple more deep breaths in stillness. slowly roll it up. One vertebrae at a time, kind of a little massage for the spine. Finishing with a big loop of the shoulders, opening fingerprints wide, pressing the shoulders actively back, opening through that chest mountain pose. Awesome, moving through our flow. Inhale, fingertips left to right, reach up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold. Yeah, feel free to bend those knees, reaching the fingertips down. Inhale, halfway lift, so extending through the crown of the head, straightening through the legs, squeezing shoulder blades together. Exhale, rain it down, we're going to plant the palms, step the feet back, left foot, right foot, into a plank or half plank, knees down if we prefer. Awesome work, exhale, slowly lower down, chaturanga, so hovering above the mat, flipping onto the tops of the feet. And we're going to send the torso up and through, upward dog. Exhale, flip onto the toes, hips up and back. Downward dog, pedal it up. Good work. One more breath in stillness. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhaling, send the gaze right between the fingertips, stepping forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Gonna lengthen that spine. Exhale, rain it down. Inhale, roll it up all the way. So again, finishing with a big loop of those shoulders, pressing the palms out. Excellent work. Next inhale, opening towards the right side. So we send the fingertips towards the back right corner and upper right corner of the mat. Moving into our sunflowers, big inhale, reaching fingertips up and overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, bringing fingertips down. Pinkies meet at the bottom. Inhale, reach it up. Thumbs to touch at the top. And again, find the rhythm of that breath. Good work. So make sure the knees go in the same direction as the toes, getting as low as we can. Just a quick strengthening move. Awesome work. Find the rhythm of that breath. Good job. Next time, thumbs come to me, moonflower. So we're going to squeeze elbows into the side on that exhale. Kind of making a flying W shape. Big exhale, squeeze. Imagine we're pressing our hands against an imaginary wall to really activate those chest muscles, stretching through the clavicles. Good. Really maintain that breath. Awesome work. Big inhale, reach all the way up. Squaring toes so they're both straight at the outer right edge of that mat. Big exhale, paint the wall, rain it down, forward fold. Option here if we need that block. We can bring the block to the ground in front of us. We can bring the hands to the shins, thighs, or all the way to the ground, whatever feels good. Maybe heel towing the feet out just a little bit. Breathing deeply. Counter stretch for those hamstrings. Maybe we need to bend the knees a little bit if that feels good or releases some tension. One more cycle of breath here. Big inhale. 
big exhale. Nice inhale. We're going to bring the hands to the side. I want you to focus on squeezing the belly button in towards the spine. Exhale, slowly rising back up. Awesome work. So facing the right side of our mat. We're going to inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, pivoting on the toes, bending towards the front of our mat. High lunge here. One cycle here to strengthen through that left leg. Big inhale. Exhale, step together and rain it down. Forward fold. So again, big stretch to those hamstrings, maybe pedaling out the legs. Awesome work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, rain it down. We're planting those palms, stepping it back into our plank. So again, planting firmly into all ten fingertips, firmly into the toes, maybe onto the knees if that feels better. Exhale, lowering down into Chaturanga on that inhale, moving into our upward dog. Exhale, flip those toes, downward dog. Pedal it out. Some more fine stillness. Inhale, send that gaze right between the fingertips. This time, just right leg comes forward, low lunge. You can lower that back knee if we'd like. Big stretch here. If we want to focus on strength, keep that left knee lifted. A couple deep breaths here, making sure we round those shoulders, keeping them open towards the front of the room. Awesome work. Next inhale, everyone lower that back leg. Exhale, send the hips back, peeling those right toes up. Big stretch through that hamstring one more time. Half splits here, letting the head and neck round. An option if we've got our block. You can always add that to allow us to reach palms to the earth or fingertips to the earth. More deep breaths here. Awesome. One more big inhale. Next exhale, rolling through that right foot. Back into our low lunge, this time planting the palm. Inhale, lift that left knee. Exhale, step it together, forward fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, rain it down. Plant those palms. Again, stepping back into that plank. Working that upper body here with that chaturanga. Lowering down as slow as we can. Onto the tops of our feet. Big inhale. Upward dog. Big exhale. Downward dog. Pedal it up. Good job. Find a little bit of stillness. Next inhale, gaze right between the thumbs. This time, left leg stepping forward between those fingertips. Again, if we want to focus on strength, keep that back knee lifted. If we really want to focus on the stretch, give our legs a break, we can lower that left knee down. Good work. So again, curling, open those shoulders. Fingertips can come to the earth or up onto that thigh. Awesome work. If we have that back knee lifted, on our next inhale, slowly lower it down. Exhaling, send the hips back, peel those left toes up. Breathe easily. Recognize that one side might be different than the other. That's okay. Acknowledge wherever we are. We use different sides of our body for different things, for different purposes. So we got to acknowledge wherever those imbalances are and take the time to work on them. So again, find those deep breaths. Send energy right to that hamstring. Maybe bringing a block to allow the hands to get closer to the earth. We're bringing a bend in the knee. The hamstrings are really tight. Awesome work. One more big inhale. Exhale again, roll through that front knee, planting those palms. Inhale, lifting that back leg. Exhale, step together, forward fold. Maybe 
grasp the elbows, rocking side to side. Again, we can pedal through those hamstrings and keep a nice bend if they're tight, or we can straighten through the legs, allowing to really get that stretch through the upper back, the lower back, excuse me. Some more. Releasing fingertips to the earth. Big inhale, halfway lift. Really reach to the crown of the head. Exhale, rain it down. Next inhale, in rolling up. One vertebrae at a time. Big loop of those shoulders. Awesome work. So again, stepping out to the left side this time. So we open those toes towards the bottom left corner, top left corner of our mat, one more set of sunflowers. Big inhale, reaching fingertips up and overhead, thumbs come to me. Exhale, carving that big glow, bringing pinkies together at the bottom. Find the rhythm of your breath. Embrace the shake of those legs. Deep exhales, deep inhales. This time moving into those moon flowers, we're gonna bend the elbows and pressing against that imaginary wall. Squeezing elbows to the sides. Excellent job. Good job, one more. Some work. Big inhale here again, squaring those toes towards the left side. Big exhale, painting that wall. Forward fold. Again, bring that block over. Maybe the hamstrings are a little bit looser. After those half splits and after doing the forward fold the other direction. Again, feel free to walk the feet out just a little bit. Seeing if we can deepen that stretch with each exhale. Next inhale again, bringing hands towards the hip creases, squeezing belly button to spine. Big exhale, roll it up. Awesome work. So again, pivoting on both those toes. Coming into our high lunge and strengthening that right leg just a little bit more. Fingertips can reach up and overhead or they can be at the side if that feels better. One more inhale here. Exhale, step together. Bring it down again, forward fold. Awesome work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, rain it down, plant those palms. This time, stepping it back into our plank. We're going to lower those knees, send the hips back, child's pose. Awesome work. Little rest for those legs. Good stretch for the upper body. A couple deep breaths here. down onto our backs, so swinging the legs through, coming into a seat, placing the soles of the feet on the earth, and slowly lowering down onto the back, focus here on snuggling the shoulders away from the ears underneath the heart space, we want to tip that pelvic bone so our low back is flush with the mat, moving into a bridge pose here. We want to really plant through the heels, plant through the fingertips. Big inhale. Exhale, press through those heels, lifting the hips. 
a lot of energy and strength through the lower body here. So imagining we have an imaginary ball or a block between those legs, so squeezing those quads together actively, pressing through the fingertips. Option here also to bring the fingertips together underneath the tailbone for an extra stretch through the chest. Breathe deep again, embrace that shape. Awesome, release those fingertips if they're clasped. We're here for three, two, one. Big exhale, slowly lower it down one vertebrae at a time. Awesome work, scooping the knees up and into the chest, giving them a big hug. Maybe rocking a little side to side. Little massage for the low back. Awesome. Next inhale, bring the right knee in, left leg comes out long. Stretching through the front of that hip, we want to make sure we really anchor that left heel down. Keeping the foot nice and active to bring integrity to that left hip crease, which makes for a better stretch. Big inhale. Exhale, spinal twist, so bringing that right leg over towards the left side. So we really want to focus on keeping the right shoulder blade on the earth. Maybe we reach the right fingertips out, send the gaze over towards the right side. Big twist all the way from tailbone to the cervical spine. The next inhale brings us through center and squeezing that right knee in, going into a half happy baby pose. We're going to send the fingertips over to the outer sole of that right foot and bring the sole of the foot up towards the ceiling. So starting to work to open that hip crease a little bit. Awesome work. So we can hang out here. Or you can bring the left leg up for full happy baby. So again, reaching those left fingertips over towards the outer edges of that left foot. Or we can bring it to the big toes, the inner soles of the feet, whatever feels good. We keep this nice active resistance. So imagine the fingertips pressing into the sole of the feet, soles of the feet pressing back really maximize that stretch. Low back stays in contact with the earth. Awesome. Slowly release the left, the right leg, excuse me. Send it out long. Just to kind of even out both sides. A little deep breaths here. Opening that left hip crease. One more big inhale. Exhale, bending that left knee. Bring the arms around it. Stretching the right knee up and in again. Active through that right leg, anchoring it into the mat. And we're moving into that spinal twist on the other side. Big inhale, exhale, slowly guide the left knee over towards the right side. Again, keep that left shoulder on the mat, maybe reaching left fingertips out, sending the gaze over towards the left side. Big twist through the spine. Making sure we keep the pressure on that knee nice and gentle. We don't want to force ourselves into the perfect shape if it's outside of where our body's capability is at today. Just focus on the feeling as opposed to how it looks. Good work. Inhale, 
brings us back to center, squeezing the left knee in one more time, and exhaling, slowly sending the left leg out long. Take this time to adjust anything we feel like we need to, the clothes, the hair, any of those little movements we feel like we need to get out of the system. And we make sure we are as comfortable as possible, maybe bringing the hands to the belly or the sides. And we focus on stillness, the feeling of the mat beneath us. Once again, allowing our breathing to slow and lengthen. And we feel the release of tension of every muscle as we move in for our final relaxation. invite you if you have the time to maybe stay here a little bit longer. Again, focusing only on the present moment. Focusing only on the breath. Letting the tension ease from every muscle. Relaxing even the forehead and the jaw, taking the tongue off the roof of the mouth, and letting it relax, letting the legs grow heavy, letting any worries or tension in the belly release. Again, thinking only on the breath and stillness. And I invite you to continue laying here if you have the time. If not, we're slowly going to roll over onto one side using the arm as a pillow for the head. Just embracing these final few moments we have on the mat. Feeling the support of the earth beneath us. Appreciating the time we took to get on the mat today. And to go through everything else we did in our day and everything we're going to do in our day, appreciating our ability to tackle those challenges. And then slowly and gently, we're going to make our way back up to a seat. So being nice and careful with the body, moving however feels good. in a nice, comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. One more big inhale to reach up and overhead. Maybe we keep the eyes closed. Exhaling through to heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. So much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And thank you again. Bye.